We're here doing a Shaper run. Going to play Shaper. I've got a Divine Ire build. It's quite significant with the lightning damage. It's pretty fun stuff. So we're going to try to see what we can do with it. Oh, gotta try on my uh, auras. Why not, right? Turn on those auras for a fact. Don't feel free. All right, that's one down. Very, very good. We got this over here. That's the goddess. We fight her real quick. She's done. Nice. We like that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Who is this? Okay. Great Wolf. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You darn wolf. Wolf man. Get over here. Okay. Sweet. One more. This one's usually pretty easy. Usually. Okay. Shape. All right, we're we're there. We're there.
There we go. Very good, very good. This is pretty good so far. This will be the only time I've ever beaten Shaper Deathless while recording, if I was able to. Which I'm hoping I'm able to. <clears throat> I've only beaten Shaper Deathless one time. I'm just trying to focus right now. And that and actually it was today. So so uh the new things are happening. There we go. Okay. Tough stuff so far. Wow, I flippin' did it! Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness, I did it! I beat Shapeless Death. Oh, Shaper Deathless. Oh my goodness. Yes! Finally, and I got it recorded. Oh man, what a crowning achievement. Finally, for me, at least in this game, like I can finally say that <laughs> I beat an endgame boss. Oh my goodness, without dying. That, and it's it's a lot of skill involved. That, that was, man, that's fun. So here's the build. Um, whew, man, I, I have done it. 
So we got uh, Divine Ire, which it charges up times 10. And then we got the added totems. Uh, we, got, we got the Soul Mantle, which is classic Divine Ire. We got the Verides Veil with uh, conductivity on hit. We also have a bunch of resistances and life and whatnot on this ring. And then we got Elemental Weakness, uh, so multi curse. Uh, chance to deal double damage while focus, 15% which is actually high, high, very highly beneficial, 16% increased cast speed, you know, uh, the, the plus to levels, got the empower in here, which makes our divine ire level 29, highly efficient, especially considering I have this amulet that gives intelligence and lightning skills a little bit of a level up. And then uh, we go on the tree and this is what I decided to take. I could have taken other things, uh, pain attunement which helps with this coward's legacy you got the accurses that I had discussed so I can apply an additional one this is just so I can spark the elemental overload and then we have lightning which uh, shock effect we got max shock effect over here Lightning damage with non-critical strikes is lucky. That's extremely beneficial if you're not doing critical strikes. And then you got self-flagellation where however many accurses are applied to me, which these are applied, but I'm not affected by them due to the Verides Veil, which is uh, your hex proof if you have a magic ring in your right slot. I do have a magic ring in my right slot. And so we're going to continue keep going. I, I just have this for life just in case you know I get close to low. Um, we got reservation. We're using summon skitterbots, purity of lightning, wrath, grace, clarity. And I do believe that's it for the auras. We have divine judgment. Got the elemental resistances. Divine wrath. We have Shamanistic Fury, uh, Totem Placement Speed, Totem Damage, it's highly beneficial when you're trying to acquire quick curses to your character, which, like I said, it's your hex proof, so you're not going to get hurt uh, by the curses. And then you got the Reservation over here, Can't Be Stunned, that's highly beneficial if you're in a mob situation and they just want to, you know, gallywomp you. And then uh, Evasion Rating to Armor, which is extremely beneficial because you actually do get more armor from iron reflexes than you do from uh, determination on average uh, depending on the character but for my character it's it's definitely a bigger increase so yeah I mean we got the ritual of awakening more damage per summon totem I have six totem or no I have seven totems with this build I had six uh, with this wand right here which also gave plus two the level of skill, uh, lightning skills in particular. Um, I decided that I wanted the additional totem. And then, uh, yeah, we got the Sanctuary of Thought, which is helpful for the mana reservation. That's the main component for that. And that's really about it. When it, uh, This is just for dexterity because I use grace, so I have to get a little bit more dexterity in my build. I have essentially just enough to use grace. Uh, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, I, mean, I, I do have some lightning penetration and whatnot. Cap resistances for the most part, 75, 58% physical damage reduction. A little bit of chaos resistance is not too important, especially on this map. And then, all in all, I mean, it's, it's just, uh, it, it's a delight. As you can see, I'm able to Deathless Shaper with it. It does take a bit more skill on average to be able to beat Shaper in general with uh, such low health and mild tankiness. I wouldn't even call myself a tank in any case. It's you know mostly just pure DPS with the, I sit back and let the totems do, do the work. You know, boom, 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 boom. Play some, keep stay, stay cursed, but you're actually hex proof. It's fun, it's, re it's really enjoyable. This is easily the best build that I've ever had. If, I, if I'm able to death the Shaper for the first time, two times today, you, you know, ever, and I've tried 
many times, then this obviously is a good build. But thank you so much.